Bailey! Sean, are you hurt? Are you hurt? Are you Damn! Hurt? Hey, we gotta get out of this thing! Hey, no, no, no! Don't move! Climb up through the window right there! You can do it! Why would you open the door? I'm talking about. You have to move right now. Run. Hello. Can anyone hear me? Hello. We were in an accident. Daddy, are we gonna die? No. It's my job to protect you. And we we were attacked. Oh, damn. I think my husband was infected. Mike. Mike. Oh, that's a great transition. Daddy. Daddy. What's wrong with Daddy? He got sick. What is happening to me? Can you understand me? I love the visual metaphor. Yeah. Yeah. You're, 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 you're scaring me. Oh no! <laughs> films that go to January don't tend to do well, and that is a given fact. A lot of films that are released by, you know, distributors or production companies, calendars, and they release a film in January, they think, oh yeah, it's the beginning of the year, let's just get these, all these movies out of the way. But there are a couple of hidden gems that drop in January that people need to know about. And I think this potentially could be one of them. For many people, they may not have heard of Lee Wannell's name. And he is the same person that was a part of the Saw production back in 2004 with James Wan, and they created an idea of two men in a bathroom with a dead body in the middle of the room. And it became, of course, a pop culture icon. But Lee Wannell, of course, is the person who directed The Invisible Man. He wrote the film Upgrade, and he worked on the script for Insidious. And he knows a way around the horror genre. So the fact that he's directing this shows that he's no stranger to the horror genre. But let's quickly talk about the movie in case you didn't understand what was happening. So this is essentially a reimagination of the Wolfman movie, which is a classic universal monster story. And you have the character called Blake, played by Christopher Abbott, and he inherits his family remote estate in Oregon. He arrives to the place with his wife Charlotte, played by Julia Garner, and a young daughter. But then they encounter a mysterious creature which throws them into the trees in the truck. And unfortunately, he gets scratched by the monster. As the night unfolds, Blake begins to transform into a werewolf and he puts his family in danger. And it gives me the same vibe as Invisible Man. The psychological horror and the depth of the shadows emerging upon them and consuming them. I am definitely looking forward to it. It's coming out January 17th in cinemas. What do you think of the official trailer for Wolfman? Let me know in the comments.